Good afternoon from the Kendall Land Live Doppler Storm Center. Temperatures are in the 60s and 70s and it looks like we'll have another day with below average temperatures as winds will not be as strong as what we had yesterday. Forecast today showing numbers in the 60s and 70s. We do slowly warm this weekend. That will continue next week. More details on your forecast coming up as we begin midday in Kettleland. Live from Kelloland Media Group, midday in Kelloland. The Midco Aquatic Center locker rooms are getting a much needed renovation. The donors behind the project ahead. And Donald Trump and Kamala Harris have confirmed they'll debate in September. A look into how both are doing on the campaign trail leading up to the event. Good afternoon and thanks for having us in. A Brookings man is dead following a car crash last night. Authorities say 53-year-old Pedro Medina's car crossed over the lane and struck the Forrester Office Janitorial and Restaurant Supply Distribution Building. He was taken to a nearby hospital where he later died. The building had minimal damage. The name of a Watertown, Wisconsin woman has been released after a Monday morning crash near Spearfish. Authorities say 69-year-old Patty Craig's motorcycle collided with a car attempting to turn onto the interstate. Craig was not wearing a helmet. We have an update on a road construction project in northern Sioux Falls. The new bridge deck has been poured on the Benson Road Bridge. The city shared these photos of the work. Crews started pouring concrete at 11 o'clock Tuesday night and finished around 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. The overall project is expected to be done by May of next year. Plankington, South Dakota has a unique history. Over the years, it's been home to a grain palace and even miniature Ferris wheels. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, we visit the Aurora County Museum to unpack the rich history of Plankington and the surrounding area. Fall is just around the corner and swimmers will soon be headed back indoors. The city of Sioux Falls is currently renovating and expanding the locker rooms at Midco Aquatic Center. Construction started in early July on the $1.8 million project, which was made possible in part by a $500,000 donation from Joe and Jenny Kirby. Well, I think I must have been talking about how small the locker rooms were a lot at home because my husband said, well, why don't we do something about that? And I thought, oh, oh yeah, we could maybe do something about that. So I talked to the city and they had some interest in seeing if this was a possibility and it's coming to fruition, which is super exciting. Construction is expected to be completed by the end of December. We'll hear from the city of Sioux Falls about how the project will impact swimmers over the next four months tonight on Kelloland News. Turning now to a first look at your midday forecast with meteorologist Scott Munt. Might be a bit cool to jump in the outdoor pools, but at least we've got the sunshine. Yeah, you mentioned in that story as you introduced the what falls around the corner. It is. Feels like it's here uh, <laughs> for this morning. That will that'll be the case for tomorrow morning with temperatures falling close to 50 degrees. We have partly cloudy skies in and around Watertown. That's a look at our Watertown live cam. Temperature at 65 degrees. Notice that dew point temperature. That's low. It's down to 47. And it's a little windy. That northwest wind at 18 miles per hour. Gusts near 30. As we do have the cloud cover that continues to stream across the area, especially in the western and southwestern South Dakota. And we'll continue with this cumulus cloud cover across eastern South Dakota during the day. Slight chance that there may be an isolated shower near Watertown Marshall during the later part of the afternoon. Temperatures are in the 60s and 70s at the moment with that northwest wind 15 to 25 miles per hour. Shouldn't be as windy as what we had yesterday, but still a healthy breeze. And dew point temperatures are in the 40s, so it's very, very dry. This is Futurecast. As we go through the day, tries to pick up on that isolated chance for a shower, thunder shower from Watertown to Marshall, and I would say areas to the north. And then enough for a mention. Temperatures today, 60s and 70s for highs remaining below average. Tonight, another cool overnight. We'll have temperatures fall to the 40s and 50s. Winds will become light, and for tomorrow, temperatures will be a couple of degrees warmer. Numbers in the 70s and 80s. We'll watch for showers and thunderstorms into western South Dakota. I'll have more details on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. The debate stage is set. Former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris now confirm they'll debate at least once in September. Willie James Inman reports from Washington. Vice President Harris and former President Donald Trump have agreed to a face-off on stage next month. 
I think it's very important to have debates. At a lengthy news conference Thursday, Trump suggested three debates, while Harris confirmed she'll take part in at least one, scheduled for September 10th. I'm looking forward to it and um, hope he shows up. During Trump's news conference, he issued a series of dire warnings. We have a lot of bad things coming up. You could end up in a depression of the 1929 variety, which would be a devastating thing. Took many years, took decades to recover from it. In my opinion, we're very close to a world war. We have people that don't know how to handle it. As he continued to personally attack Harris. Kamala, who, by the way, is worse than Biden. And she's actually not as smart. Harris and running mate Tim Walls campaigned Thursday in Michigan alongside members of the United Auto Workers. The true measure of the strength of a leader is not based on who you beat down. It's based on who you lift up. Harris and Walls campaign in Arizona Friday as they continue their battleground state blitz while Trump holds a rally and fundraiser in Montana. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Washington. Montana is a reliably red state. Republicans are hoping to flip a Senate seat there. Meantime, Harris and Walls head to Nevada tomorrow with a campaign stop in Las Vegas.